Look, you know we have to talk about Nintendo Switch 2 today. Why? Well, okay, look, the PlayStation 5 Pro is the biggest news of the day, but even on the day that the PlayStation 5 Pro is announced, and oh boy, uh, I have some thoughts on that. We'll we'll save most of those thoughts for uh, our live stream tonight. Uh, We're going to dive into, well, let's just say... Reveal timing for the Nintendo Switch 2 because, folks, things just keep piling up. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how else to react to this. Things just keep piling up. My hype is reaching new levels. I don't even know how to properly express myself right now to say other than, oh, my God, something seems to be happening and everything keeps pointing to very soon. And I just don't know what to do. I'm so excited. All you gotta do, if you wanna be hyped like me, is subscribe to the channel and help us on our road to 150,000 subscribers. Maybe even drop a like on this video. Let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes for the hype of a Switch 2 reveal. So, what are we talking about? Well, first we gotta dive into dear friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network. So Paul Gale Network, who is the co-host of Indie Mania this week that we will be live streaming, and yes, is even being co-streamed, obviously co-hosted by Mike Odyssey, but co-streamed by IGN. It's a big deal, a three-day event. It's going to be a lot of fun. But he went out on X over here and said, I cannot verify this firsthand, but something huge just came my way. Supposedly, quite recently, a trailer-like commercial was filmed to promote a certain next-generation console. If this is indeed the case, I think we are one to six weeks away from a reveal. Now, uh, you guys know I actually am friends of Paul Gale Network, and so, of course, I reached out to him to clarify some things, and like most of our conversation is going to stay private, as private conversations should, but, you know, I did essentially get the confirmation that it is Switch 2 related, which isn't really that big of a surprise. Paul Gale Network is... Like, always talking Nintendo, massive Nintendo fan. Uh, Yeah, so, like, of course, that's what he was talking about. But the thing is, uh, his report started making rounds. And while Paul Gale Network isn't known as a big leaker or anything, he's had some information here or there, uh, other people who have been known to leak things decided to speak up in response. Uh, One of this being Necrofilipa Lima over here on, well, Reset Era. This thread was created. Say, Paul Gale heard a trailer like commercial recently filled to promote a certain next generation console. And if you go down to Necrofilipa Lima, who runs Universo Nintendo, uh, this tiebreaker says, recently filmed, likely mid to late October. Necrofilipa Lima comes in and says, earlier than that. Well, earlier than that is obviously next week, the week after, or the week after that, the next three weeks. Because you get past that, you're getting to mid-October. So that's already exciting, right? And again, Necrofilipe Lima, he's got a number of rumors out there. A lot of it's about Switch 2 and unverified at the moment. But he does seem to be connected, and I know PH Brazil has uh, had his back a couple of times. Uh, but here's another known insider as well, Nate the Hate coming in. He responded in this exact same thread, and he said, I have a feeling this is the same thing I was sent a month ago, but the info is very difficult to verify. There's one bit of information i've been waiting to see if it appears in a game trailer as it would help verify the information further but the game in question has not had a new trailer release yet now if you went on and you followed the rest of something that the hate had to say today he goes on the note he's not verifying this info as being true what he is saying is that if this is the same info he's heard before that he doesn't know whether or not to believe it because there's something switch related that he's waiting for in a trailer that's a kind of a side thing like an aside piece of news that would help him verify this source so essentially what he's saying is it's a source that he hasn't been able to verify so nate the hate is not specifically saying that he's knowingly talking about the same information that paul gale network is but uh if it is the same information nate the hate himself doesn't know enough to trust the source yet and he's waiting on um so a, a different announcement a different game trailer that's switch related that would help verify uh, this person's information now that's all exciting uh but you know what's more exciting everyone the fact that uh we are this close is what it feels like this is just more stuff thrown on the pile of stuff that nintendo switch 2 is going to be revealed imminently very very soon possibly even next week and look nintendo is in position to do maybe one of the funniest things ever i mentioned earlier that the playstation 5 pro was announced and i'm not going to dive too deep into my opinions on that i already went over that during our live reaction to it but i will note that it is a 700 dollars discless system here in the united states 
800 euros, by the way, which is 900 USD. It's around $1,000 Canadian. It's an, a pretty astronomically priced system. And obviously, you guys could probably tell just by hearing about it that it has created a bit of a negative news cycle for PlayStation 5. The reactions to PlayStation 5 Pro have been quite negative. And if you look at the news cycle recently, they had the flopping Concord, this being Sony, the mega success in terms of the really, really good Astrobot game that feels very much like a Nintendo style game. And then obviously now this kind of negative news with PlayStation 5 Pro. And when you look at all of that, Nintendo is in this funny situation where they can come out and even if they said Switch 2 was $500, it would sound like a good deal compared to what just happened. And let alone if they like say the exact price being $399, which is what most people expect Switch 2 to be, they're in the situation where they can drop Switch 2. Switch 2's trailer would show clear game improvements generation to generation. So it would clearly look like a bigger jump ahead than the PlayStation 5 Pro does, which it should, to be fair. PlayStation 5 Pro is not a new generation system, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so Nintendo could end up looking basically like the king of kings right now. A $399 price, a spring 2025 release, backwards compatibility, improved eShop, and oh, by the way, we get all the third-party games everyone else does, and you can take the system with you on the go. Nintendo would simply just be winning now that win might be temporary we don't really know obviously the reason that a lot of the console wars are sparking up lately is because well look xbox is kind of dipped out if not dipped out they're pretty far behind so this is left behind playstation and nintendo yet again the two pillars that originated from japan although all of sony's gaming stuff is now centralized here in the u.s that's right they moved their headquarters for playstation to california uh so now it's not necessarily they're two they're ran by two japanese companies nintendo and sony are still japanese companies i find it fascinating that we're kind of just coming back around to my childhood when it used to be playstation versus nintendo it was playstation versus no i'm sorry it was nintendo Nintendo versus Sega, then it became Nintendo versus PlayStation, then Xbox kind of snuck in there, and now we're back to Nintendo versus PlayStation, and just the console warring continuing on and on and on, which is kind of funny, because all we should really care about is the games and having fun with the games, but, you know, we have our preferences and our favorite companies and anti-consumer practices that we're okay with and ones that we're not okay with and the things we root for and our fandoms and, like, hey, I'm a Nintendo YouTube channel, so it is really good for me when Nintendo's doing well, not so good when they're not doing well, uh, but it is kind of funny that, like, like, you know, a lot of people thought that Nintendo Switch 2 couldn't get announced this month because of the PlayStation 5 Pro announcement. And honestly, the PlayStation 5 Pro announcement almost makes it feel like we need the Nintendo Switch 2 announcement because we need good news this month. That's wild for me to say. I might even own a PlayStation 5 Pro at one point. I'm undecided. But what I will say is we need good news. Uh, and it, it, it's just, it's wild. It's fascinating to me that we're at this point where we're still talking about the switch Two reveal. It still sounds like it's happening relatively soon sometime, you know, this month or next month. And, uh, obviously I have a hot chip challenge bet on this month. I'll just keep reminding you guys of that. Cause I want you to hold me to it. If we do not get a reveal of Nintendo switch two in September, I want you to hold me to the bet. Don't let me back down. Don't let me make excuses. I will do the hot chip challenge, you know, in the beginning of October. So I just, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the fact that uh, as Nintendo fans, we're not only eating pretty good with games this year, you know, not like the, the biggest of the hit games for Nintendo, but still a pretty solid lineup for a final year, of, especially for Nintendo. I mean, this arguably, this is the, the greatest final year lineup in Nintendo history. Am I going too far to say that? I, I, I actually like I'm speaking that with my chest. Like, I, I truly think this is the greatest Nintendo lineup. Uh, for like the final year in platform history and Nintendo history. So, uh, you know, someone can correct me if they think a, a final year for another system was better, but, um, and we're not even done. There's going to be more Switch games, right? We already know what Metro Prime 4 Beyond, and we know about Legends EA. I just know that I'm really excited about what's to come. It looks like things are still moving. It looks like we just have more evidence to throw on the pile of a reveal happening soon, and we'll just have to wait and see, because man, oh man, oh man, I'm ready. I'm freaking ready. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on tonight's stream at 8 p.m. Bye, everyone.